look at wage law. Most states have their own wage and hour laws. The FLSA permits states to establish minimum wages higher than the federal minimum wage. 29 states plus the District of Columbia had minimum wages higher than the federal minimum wage in 2017. Four had minimum wages lower than the federal minimum, but those applied only to small firms not covered by the FLSA, generally companies with revenues less than $500,000 per year. Minimum wage laws in a number of states have the interesting feature that, unlike the federal minimum wage, their minimum wage is adjusted annually with changes to the cost of living. State laws also frequently require higher payments to tipped employees. Thus, state wage and hour laws define minimum pay levels for a large part of the U.S. workforce. State wage laws are also important because they serve as a basis for suits to recover unpaid wages and establish requirements for when wages, including final paychecks, must be paid. Employers incur additional legal obligations to their employees, like affirmative action, when they contract to provide goods or services to the government. By Executive Order 13658, the minimum wage for employees of federal contractors and subcontractors is considerably higher than that specified in the FLSA. In 2018, it was $10.35 per hour. Other federal laws require payment of a prevailing wage for government contract work. These laws include the Davis-Bacon Act for construction contracts and the McMahara O'Hara Service Contract Act for other types of service. The prevailing wage is the average wage paid to a class of employees in relevant geographic areas, an amount determined by the DOL. The inadequacy of the FLSA minimum wage has sparked campaigns for living wage laws. These laws mandate levels of hourly pay in excess of federal and state minimums. Many cities and counties have enacted living wage law. Employers must be aware that they might be required to pay a state minimum wage, prevailing wage, or living wage that exceeds the federal minimum wage.